The head of the artificial intelligence company that created ChatGPT is revealing his worst fears about the new technology. My worst fears are that we cause significant, we, the field, the technology, the industry, cause significant harm to the world. Uh, I think that could happen in a lot of different ways. It's why we started the company. Um, it's a big part of why I'm here today. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman testified before a Senate Judiciary Subcommittee today. It marked his first testimony before Congress and comes as concerns grow over the unregulated tech around AI. The 38-year-old CEO acknowledged the impact on jobs that AI will have and shared his own concerns about election interference as a possibility. News Nation Washington correspondent Joe Khalil has all the details for us. Hey, Joe. Hey, Elizabeth, from self-driving cars to voice assistants, artificial intelligence has become an integral part of our daily lives. But with the advancement in uh, technology comes fears from U.S. senators that it may be becoming too powerful, autonomous, posing a threat to society. Now, Elizabeth, I'm going to stop for a quick second here. If everything I just said sounded a little robotic, it was because I didn't write it. AI actually wrote it for me. I put into G chat GPT uh, to give me a news live shot about senators' concerns over AI, and this is what the intelligence wrote for me, everything that just came out of my mouth, that first sentence there. So look, you can see why people have real fears about how it might replace workers and take over certain jobs that humans now occupy, and that's just one fear that we heard today from senators. If this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Fear of the unknown. As technology behind artificial intelligence rapidly advances, lawmakers and even CEOs like Sam Altman from companies pioneering AI say it has the potential to displace millions of workers, spread disinformation, or worse. Fundamentally, these new systems are going to be destabilizing. They can and will create persuasive lies at a scale humanity has never seen before. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill grappling with how to regulate the technology, especially ahead of election season, worried about foreign influence trying to mislead voters. Democracy itself is threatened. Senator Blumenthal, the chair of the subcommittee, even demonstrating how people could be misled in his opening remarks by playing a speech from ChatGPT that copied his voice. What if I had asked it, and what if it had provided an endorsement of Ukraine surrendering or Vladimir Putin's leadership? That would have been really frightening. But all sides acknowledge the tremendous potential for good saying if we harness AI correctly, it could be used to speed up advances in medicine, cures for diseases, even help governments tailor policies to the needs of their populations. We think it can be a printing press moment. We have to work together to make it so. One thing is clear. Lawmakers and industry leaders alike feel safer with the U.S. leading on AI technology, agreeing if America abandons AI altogether, another nation like China will take the lead into a much more uncertain future. Elizabeth, the rest of my piece, I promise I wrote uh, on my own. Uh, look, one thing that lawmakers and the industry um, leaders agree on is that they feel like the first guardrails for this kind of technology, harnessing it in the right way, has to start with the industry and not with Congress. Right. Uh, all sides agreed on that. And so it's a big responsibility, but lawmakers obviously are going to have to oversee how all that happens. Elizabeth. All right. The real Joe Khalil. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.